In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best man beaters in Madden 23. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to the channel. If you're looking to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. And today I've got kind of a little uh, preview play out of my Steelers Bunch ebook. We released that, I think, two weeks, two or three weeks ago. Or not two or three weeks ago. Uh, I think it was about two weeks ago. Time has just like stood still for the last couple weeks. It's all run together because of the Madden 23 launch. But we do have an ebook out on this. And, uh, really like the Steelers bunch. I think the Steelers bunch has a lot of value uh, within it. And we're going to show you how to beat man coverage uh, today. So what I wanted to do in this video was show you just a real simple play that is going to be fairly consistent for you against man to man. Uh, so I'm just going to use the loop blitz that we all love and hate. And we're going to just kind of put some players in here on the bucks um, that have decent speed, decent route running to get open. Now, ideally, real quick, the best route running ability that you can utilize, especially if you're a bunch player and you want to beat man, I would recommend short and elite. Short and elite is the most consistent because short and elite, generally speaking, will light up if the receivers are inside the numbers. And on bunch, the three receivers on the right side are always inside the numbers. Now, on the left side, you could do some, you could do a lot of different things with that left side receiver. Um, you could put short out elite on him. I find that that's probably the best route ability so that he can light up on the post routes and things like that. that we're going to try to run from bunch trail as we get better players in mud obviously you're going to want slot automatics or route techs uh but anyways let's just get in and talk about this so this is a really good man beater and it is bunch trail bunch trail is one of the best man beaters every single year and that is no different in this year's game the beauty of the steelers playbook is it's the only playbook in the game that has bunch trail and corner strike together that's personally why i decided um to write an ebook on this and again if you want to get access to that that is available in my patreon uh page we're just gonna be showing you something really cool um out of bunch trail that you can do to kind of beat man showing you kind of a route that a lot of people are sleeping on and that's the trail route uh from the tight end so the way that this is going to work, and when EA kind of patched, uh, there was a post right before Madden 23 came out, and it was basically this. EA wanted to patch the bunch corners. What did they? What they mean by that is they wanted to kind of make almost all of the bunch corner routes, um, specifically the one from Bunch Trail, and I think it was honestly in an effort to make this not as good against man, um, but they wanted to take this corner route and they wanted to make it, um, as you see here, a little deeper. It used to be a lot sharper. So from a man beating perspective, all we're going to do with our setup is we're going to come out, we're going to slide our line to the right, we're going to block our running back, we're going to double team this defensive end and ID this guy right here. So this is going to help us to try to kind of pick up the loop at least long enough for us to get a, a route off. And then what we want to do is we want to put the outside receiver on an out route and that's basically the setup. And what you're going to see with this play here is this corner route to the right side is typically going to beat man. As you can see, the loop blitz is ever so powerful um let me show you it again so again the primary thing that we're looking at here is we're really just looking to the um to the other side of the field here and we're trying to hit this corner route or the out route now now what will typically happen is the user will run with the post because they kind of have to especially if they're kind of lackadaisical but this corner route is really good at beating man-to-man -man coverage as you can see so the corner route is really consistent against man coverage especially if you have uh, short in elite on that player and then the beauty of this in particular bunch is that we have a backside post that is going to kind of like at least force them just to have to think about the backside post so again we're just going to block our running back and try to get this blitz a little bit contained and you can motion this out route out but what you'll see is this trail route also does a really good job of beating man to man right over the middle of the field so we have a couple of routes really quickly that is going to require their user's attention um, in the middle of the field. Something that they might do is they might drop a, you know, a curl flat zone over here to try to guard the left side. You know, if they're trying to, you know, maybe, uh, you know, bring the pressure off of the left because the running back's blocking and then trying to use a purple to go guard this out route or corner route. Now what you're going to get is you're going to get this post with a one-on-one -on -one over the top. Now the post with the one-on-one -on -one over the top is pretty decent. Um, if you think about how, um, you know, man beating routes are this year, they're not super consistent. I will say like most man beating routes in most offenses, they're just not as consistent as they have been in years past. Um, this out route to the right here is not too bad. If they're shading their coverage inside, which this is a pretty popular thing, 
uh, for people to do is they're going to shade their coverage inside. This out route, what you'll see from Julio Jones over here on the right side, is it can get open quick to the flat. Obviously, if they're in zone, that's another little read that we have for this. We have a high low to the right, and we have the post. We have a high low to the right and really a high low in the middle of the field. But what you're going to see here, pass lead outside. And again, if you have short and a lead on that player, he's going to get even better separation than what you're seeing in this video. Now, the real powerful thing of this is they're going to basically have to adjust to everything that you're doing over here on the right. So they're going to have to, you know, bring a guy over. You know, maybe they throw a zone over here for the little trail route. They're going to have to be in the middle of the field. There's a lot that they're going to have to do, right? So in that scenario, you know, we get to a place here where we might have some time for this post to develop. And pass lead that when he cuts to the inside, you're just going to pass lead inside. And it's actually fairly consistent. Now, there is something that you can do with the Pittsburgh Steelers bunch that you can't do with really any other bunch in the game. Like I said, is because it has bunch trail and corner strike. You can go to corner strike as well, and it looks kind of similar to bunch trail. Uh, but maybe you do something, maybe, maybe you do a setup like this, you know, and then again, you, you know, set up your pass protection. But you get a C route here on the left side, and you'll see here that these C routes. Um, can sometimes beat man, especially if they're going to shade their man coverage inside. I'll show you that if it, I'll show you that if it's if it's a shaded uh, man coverage inside. So you can kind of go between your C route on the left and this post, and that's the beauty is because if they start to shade inside every play, this this C route really should be a nice little little route for you. You'll see here, pass lead down and outside. Click on, and of course, Tom Brady's going to butcher my throws, but you'll see here. I'll show it to you again. And again, we're just, you know, this is just the loop blitz. This is the Sin 5 version. Uh, obviously, the Sin 5 or Sin 6 version is probably the most effective. But, you know, I mean, from this is about to be patched also. So you're going to see a lot of things change. I'm just going to put the Hot Route Master C route out here just to show you the C route. But basically, the idea is the C route a lot of times will beat man. So ideally, you do you do want to have an outside apprentice and bunch this year, I think. I, th I do think that's very valuable. And in Mutt, we now have a lot of uh, a lot of outside apprentices. But what this does is they're going to have to go. Okay, well, I'm going to have to shade outside because you know they've been throwing C routes left and right. You know they've been attacking my corner routes. So I'm I'm shading my coverage outside to stop the corner route and to stop the C route. And what you should see here is if you get time, this post can be wide open over the middle. Obviously, you're seeing the, the trail route is also getting open. And again, we're saying that their user is going to have to basically choose. You know, who am I going to guard on this play? Am I going to guard the the post or am I going to guard the trail route? That's basically the decision, um, you know, that they have to they have to make. So, you know, that's the beauty of this. And here you'll see pass lead inside, click on an aggressive catch it. And there we finally get a, a decent throw on our post route. You know, but really the main play here is the corner route. And I'm just telling you from personal experience, if they're going to sit in this LB blitz, we could do things like throw quick to the flat, try to break a tackle. Um, there's a lot of ways that we can kind of counter this LB blitz. But really what we're saying here is, in my opinion, one of the better ways to beat man is to have this concept to the right side because the out route does decent against man. And the corner route a lot of times can actually cook man over the top, as you can see right there. That's going to get them to shade their coverage outside, which will then open up your post route on the backside of this play. So really simple little concept from Bunch this year in terms of how you can beat man-to-man. -man. Basically, you're just blocking this guy. The one thing about this is you can you can leave this crossing route. Um, and honestly, this crossing route's not terrible. You'll see here, sometimes he'll kind of cut underneath that man, and that could be a quick little read for you as well if you wanted to try to um, try to take that. You know, but this is just a simple, simple little play um, that you can go to that does give man and zone a problem. If they go cover two, this is one of the best cover two beaters in the game. You'll see here that this post will split the safeties. And that's why it's so critical to have a post in the gun bunch offense. And you're not going to find it's going to be hard for you to find a better post than bunch trails. So anyways, that's our man beater. And that's just a little bit of a glimpse of some of the content that we have in our Steelers ebook. If you want to check out my entire Pittsburgh Steelers offensive ebook, make sure that you join uh, the Patreon. I do believe that the Pittsburgh Steelers probably have the best man beating principles out of any offense 
uh, offensive playbook in Madden 23, and they certainly have arguably the best bunch in Madden 23. So if you're looking to learn how to run bunch, or if you're just looking to learn how to beat man in general, I'd really encourage you. Our Patreon members get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive, defensive ebooks, all of our updates. We've started to put in some film rooms as well in there for you guys. So a lot of value comes with that. It's only $10 to sign up. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, make sure to head down to the description below. You can click the link down below, and hopefully we will see you guys over at the Patreon page.